guys, it's Paige. I'm here with my dog Bluebird. Um, he's a DDDRR dog. He was a Puerto Rico dog uh, that came in back in 2014. So he is almost eight years old now, which is, I can't believe it. But today we're going to be talking about gentle leaders, which has been something that has really helped Blue um, as a dog who has some tendency to have some leash frustration and kind of have some... Um, walking struggles when I got him. The gentle leader was a really big help for us um, and it can be a really big help for other dogs. So just so you can see it on his little face, um, it goes around his nose and it comes up behind his ears right up here. Uh, it's not a muzzle. It's obviously he can eat with it on, he can drink with it on, he can even bite with it on, um, but it's a really great tool. So if he is pulling me, I'm able to just have a little more leverage. If he would be lunging and barking at another dog because it's around his little head I have control of his head so I can pull him back towards me and get some um, more focus and get him more away from whatever he'd be reacting to I just have a little bit more leverage um, and it can really help with pulling as well because you have um, control right up on his on the head there so um, they are a device that you have to get them used to because they don't always love having something on their face. Some puppies don't even like wearing a harness. So it's something you have to get them used to slowly, um, but they are well worth the investment of time because they can be a really, really helpful and important tool if, if you're struggling with some walking and leash issues. Now, to properly fit them, um, you do want to be careful um, that they are not too tight, um, but how it works is when you get the gentle leader out of the box, it'll be kind of this flappy looking thing here. So I'm putting that, I'm taking the nose loop off the metal, putting it on his little nose, and clipping up behind the ears. Just like that. Yes, you get a treat. Now as far as fit specifically to your dog goes, you always want to make sure this piece is up behind the ears and sitting up here. You don't want it down really low like a collar. We want it up nice and high so that we get the right positioning and hitting the right point, the endorphin points. And then the nose loop, you wanna make sure, I know, he's like, why are you touching my face? Um, you wanna make sure that you can pull it down to the nose, but not completely off. So um, I also like to make sure I can get at least like a finger in each loop um, and pulling it down to the nose, but not, but not off. His is nice and good. Good job. So. To get them used to the general leader, um, you want to go slowly. Um, it's it's something you don't want to rush because you want them to have a really good association with it. So um, you might start if your dog is a little more fearful or a little um, you know unsure. You can always put it on the ground with just some treats around it, just to make it a a really good thing. Then um, it can help to pick it up and put it in your hand and even have treats you know, with the, them eating the treats kind of around it, if they're really fearful. Some dogs, you know, they really could care less. Um, so what you can do, I'm going to take Blue's off entirely so we can just show you here. So if he was not used to his gentle leader yet, I would just get him used to putting his nose through the little nose loop first before I throw the whole thing on him. So you can hold it open and then hold a treat. <laughs> yeah, let me switch my hands. Hold a treat just to get them putting their nose through the nose loop and taking it right off. Short little sessions are always going to be better. Good job. Good boy. Then you can get them used to having the gentle leader on their face, but just leaving it there for a second or two while you give treats. Good job. Then if your dog is one that is a little more sensitive, you can work on just feeding treats while you clip the neck piece up. It's hard to be coordinated on this one sometimes, so if you have a helper, that can always be good. Good job. Um, and then you can work on putting the whole thing together. So we put this nose loop on, you can give treats, and then you can treat for clipping up here as well and then once it's on I tell people throw a treat party throw some treats on the ground make it a fun thing that they're wearing the gentle leader you can ask them to sit if they're kind of batting at it and unsure just go right in and distract them with food ask for things they know how to do throw food on the ground we certainly can eat food on the ground pretty easily you just want to distract them 
and then keep sessions really short so then I could take this off and then we would be done now once they're getting used to wearing it for you know a couple seconds at a time and you grow that into a couple minutes at a time um, you then can just put it on not clip a leash on you can even play with some of their toys and just work on getting them walking nicely next to you a little bit maybe in the house um, just with some treats, rewarding them for staying with you. And then once they're doing well with keeping it on, they don't seem too bothered by it. I know I have treats in my hand. You can then clip the leash to the connector and work on the leash with the gentle leader and kind of walking inside. I do the same thing where I just use lots of treats to keep him with me and keep him engaged and not worried about the gentle leader because the leash is going to add some more pressure to the nose band. So um, you want to make sure if they are behaving and listening and you don't need to use it that this leash is nice and loose. You want to have a U shape or like a J in the leash just how I have it now if they're not pulling or jumping or being a silly puppy so you want to make sure you don't have tension on that leash then if they are pulling you're able to pull pull back a little bit see how he's kind of back <laughs> backing up I know you're being so good or if I needed to I could kind of pull up or or keep it back if he was jumping up so you only want to put pressure on it if you need it otherwise you want to keep nice slack in the leash um, but that's a good overview on the gentle leader. Um, like I said, they're a really wonderful device for dogs that struggle with walking, struggle with pulling. Um, and it's a great pain-free alternative. Um, it's a really, really great option for dogs that sh might struggle with reactivity. So um, definitely let us know if you have any questions about the gentle leader. Um, we do now have them stocked here. Um, we always stock the pet safe brand. That's the one we recommend. Um, so we have them here for purchase um, and you are always um, welcome to reach out with any questions about fit or how to help get your dog used to them or anything like that but make it good you can feed them with it on make it a party when they wear it so that they're excited to see it just like Lou is <laughs> when it comes out so that's all I have for you today guys have a good rest of your week and we'll see you later